God don't care two cents about what kind of car you drive or uh, what kind of fancy shoes you might have or fancy dress you might wear. God died that you might have a life everlasting somewhere in heavenly places. And we need to understand to get to that life, that eternal life that God promised, it requires someone to follow after Christ. And you can't follow after him in disobedience to his scripture. And he said, turn away from them that won't teach you the truth. Know them that labor among you, for they watch for your soul. They might give an account one day. Praise God. Verse 17, I therefore testify in the Lord. That ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated, which actually means you're an enemy of God, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Now let's turn over uh, and let's kind of tear down everything T.D. Jakes had to say. Uh, blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Uh, let's pick up in Luke 12. Uh, jump right into verse 10. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of a man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemes against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. Now again, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth in the church today. Let's turn quickly to John 14, chapter. I want to connect this. We're talking about the Holy Ghost. If you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, what is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is the word of truth Amen. in the church today. Uh, John chapter 14. Uh, let's pick up in verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Now I want you to take note in chapter uh, 16, when John's Gospel, and let's pick up in verse uh, 13. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. Now, here again, he's not going to speak as an individual person. Amen. It's not Herbert Walker speaking to you. He won't speak of something that Herbert Walker visualized or theoretically uh, uh, arrived. He's going to speak what God has placed in his heart to speak to you, right. spirit to spirit. Amen. How be it when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you and guide you into all truth. All truth. Uh -huh. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall what he speak. hears from God, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Now, again, brothers and sisters, to follow a teacher like T.D. Jakes, I can't think of anything worse you can do for your soul. Amen. I mean, you, you'd be better off being a Muslim. Amen. Matter of fact, you'd be better off being an atheist. Right. Just don't believe in nothing. Atheists don't believe in nothing. So I'm saying, we have to come to an understanding that these are critical times. Now I'm saying to those of my followers of YouTube, these are difficult times we're in. You need to cleave close to me and hearken to every word that cometh out of my mouth and I'm saying to the family here, let's draw closer together. Amen. Time is winding down. And God needs a sanctified church to stand up and defend his word. Amen. There are souls out there that are being led astray that maybe don't even know. But if we can witness the truth to them, if we can be example setters, then we can bring them out of darkness into the light that they might be saved before it's too late. And we've got to be about our father's business and not getting too comfortable. Amen. Get home from work, get you some track. Go down to the malls. Amen. If don't nobody want to go with you, go by yourself. Amen. Tell somebody about this great God we serve and tell somebody about false religion that is sweeping Christianity like a flood. And I want to say about this uh, motion that is being presented before the Congress. Yes. Don't ask, don't tell. Right, right. They're trying to get this through where sodomites and lesbians can be a part officially of the United States military service. I want to say to any general officer, if you allow this bill to go through without you resigning, you're a sissy to like the rest of them. Amen. You ain't got no business style on your show. Yeah. You're not a general. That's 
You're not like Pat. You're like not like MacArthur. Yeah. You're not like Eisenhower. Yeah. I don't know what you are. And you're not even a general. That's right. If you can't stand for something, don't you have any backbone? Why do they give you a star? If you don't have no backbone to stand up for what's right, hallelujah. Amen. Follow me in the battle, I wouldn't follow you across the street. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to stand up now and be counted. And I'm saying if there's any general officers out there who might hear this message, stand up. If you have to resign, resign. We resign under protest. Amen. You resign because Obama is forcing you to accept Sodom, Sodomites into the army, lesbians into the army. What kind of army are you going to have? You're going to take a shower, me going to take a shower, and there's a Sodomite looking at you. Amen. Hallelujah. What is going on here? Praise, babe. Hallelujah. Crazy. Everybody can't be crazy. Amen. Hallelujah. You better listen to a prophet in the Lord's house. Yes. Amen. Turn to Ruth. And pick up in verse. Well, Start in verse 2. Ruth 1 and 2. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Malon and Shelon, and Ephrathite of Bethlehem, too. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left with her two sons. Uh -huh. And they took the wives of the women of Moab, the name of the one was Barbara, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelt there about ten years. Mama. And my God and Chilion died also, both of them, and the woman was left with her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people and given them bread. Mm -hmm. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her. Daughters-in-law was with her. And they went on the way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as he has dealt with the dead and with me. Now this don't sound like no lesbian relationship. Amen. 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 Lesbians keep their women to themselves. Yes. This is not the mentality of a lesbian. This is the mentality of a mother caring for her daughters. In this case, daughter-in-laws. Because she can no longer provide for them, she is telling them to go back home. This is not a lesbian speaking. Chapter 3, verse 1. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well with thee? And now is not Boaz of our kindred, with whose maidens thou wast? Behold, he went with barley to the night in the, in the stretching floor. Wash thyself therefore, and anoint thee, and put thy raiment upon thee, and get thee down to the floor, but make not thyself known unto the man. Now the wait here. The mother is trying to show the daughter how to present herself Hallelujah. before her future husband. Tell her to want you to bathe yourself. Put you some cologne on. And dress yourself. And then be humble when you go in his presence. Oh, a lesbian ain't gonna tell you that. Lesbian hate men. They try to tell women to stay away from men. Oh, TDJ, where are you coming from? You coming from the pits of hell. And I want to send you back to the pits of hell. Shame on you. And shame on the people who will follow you. This woman was concerned about her daughter. And wanted her daughter to be right for her husband. And was teaching her. Praise God. Amen. And some things in detail you have to read between the lines. Yes. Lay at his feet. Uncover him. Yes. And then lay at his feet. Be humble before him. Yes. Be submissive before him. He is your husband. Yes. Praise God. Lesbians hate men. Yes. And they hate any woman who wants to go with a man. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Why do you think they're trying to keep tearing down men? And tear down me. Praise God. Now give me uh, 